click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. In the previous lecture, we have discussed about that is how the acetyl as well as how the ketyl is been formed because of the aldehydes and ketones. And now similar to that, we are going to talk about that is what is the action of diol on aldehydes and ketones. So now let us understand that. So in this case, the diols are nothing but the hydrocarbons which consist of two hydroxy groups that is OH groups and that are known as diols. So for example, if I consider that is CH2, single bond CH2 and if there is a presence of only one OH group or one hydroxy group then we, it could be called as an alcohol. But suppose if it consists of that is two OH group then it is been considered as diol. For example, the name of this is since it is two carbon that are present over here so that's the reason the name of this it could be called as ethane 1 comma 2 diol so that's the reason that we are going to talk about that is two diols and that is this is the one that we have and this is basically known as 1 comma 2 diol the reason behind that is because this OH groups are attached to the first carbon atom as well as on the second carbon atom that's the reason that it is known as 1 comma 2 diol and the other diol that we are going to talk about is That is 1 comma 3 diol. So this is the first carbon atom. This could be called as the second carbon atom and this is the third carbon atom and here basically the OH group is attached to the first carbon atom and here basically the OH group is attached to the third carbon atom and that's the reason it is called as 1 comma 3 diol. So now based on this we are going to talk about that is what is the action of this diols on aldehydes and ketones. So let us talk about the general reaction first. So talking about the general reaction for that we have Suppose if we consider an aldehyde or a ketone and obviously you understand that it consists of a common carbonyl group that is C double bond O. And suppose if this reacts with the diols and the diols can be represented as that is OH CH2 that would be present N times and this will be OH where basically I could say that is N is equals to 2 or it could be N is equals to 3. So that is what we have understood in the previous one that is it could be a 1 comma 2 diol or it could be 1 comma 3 diol. So suppose if this diol is been reacted with aldehyde or if suppose it is a ketone then what will be the following product that we could get. Obviously we understand that this H, this H and this O it would be removed in the form of water. So that is the reason that the product that we will form is the one which will have carbon and this is the two valency of the carbon while the rest of the valency it would be fulfilled by O of this one, oxygen atom of this one and this middle part it will be here that is CH2 n times. So the product that has been formed it could be a acetyl or it could be a ketone but since we could see that is a cyclic ring has been formed over here so that's the reason that it could be called as cyclic acetyl if we consider aldehyde to react it with diol or it could be a cyclic ketone if ketone reacts with diol so that is the reason that we could form a cyclic acetyl or cyclic ketone so this was the general reaction and now let us understand the example for it so here we are going to talk about that is what happens if an aldehyde it reacts with diol so the common example that we have taken earlier only that is it is nothing but acetaldehyde suppose acetaldehyde it reacts with ethylene glycol so this is ethylene glycol or it could be called as that is ethane 1 comma 2 diol so in this process basically the reaction will proceed in such a manner that is we could say that is this hydrogen this hydrogen along with that of this oxygen it will be removed as H2 as a byproduct and also let me explain you that this reaction is obviously it is a reversible reaction and that is how basically we are using that is in acidic medium so the product that we could form over here so I am representing the product over here that is this carbon will be as it is while here it is the hydrogen atom here it is the CH3 or the methyl group 
while the rest of the thing is we could find over here is the oxygen which is attached to CH2 along with that of the another CH2 and now this CH2 is attached to oxygen meanwhile this oxygen will be attached to this carbon so therefore this is the product that has been formed over here so this is nothing but an acetal so the name of this acetal because since it has been formed because of the acetaldehyde so therefore the name of this one would be acetaldehyde cyclic acetal so this is the product that we have formed over here and now let us understand that what is the reaction of a ketone with a diode so for that we have suppose if we consider that is acetone that is ch3 c double bond o ch3 so in the previous example we have considered that is 1 comma 2 diol so in this case suppose we are considering 1 comma 3 diol so that could be represented as ch2 here also there will be ch2 this is ch2 and this is oh and this reaction will proceed in acidic medium so that's the reason that i have mentioned here as h plus and the name of this is basically it is known as propylene glycol but according to the ipc as we understand that is this is carbon number one this is carbon number two this is carbon number three so therefore the name of this could be propane one comma three diol so now the reaction will proceed in such a manner that is this h along with that of this h it would be removed being this uh, it would help to remove this oxygen atom over here and that's the reason that the byproduct will be formed is h2 so the product the main product that will be formed is we could mention over here that is this is the carbon atom this is the methyl group and again here it is the methyl group and the rest of the thing is basically this is the oxygen atom over here and again this is the oxygen atom over here and this both are basically joined because of that is ch2 thrice so this is how we have formed a cyclic ketone but this cyclic ketone is formed because of the acetone so that's the reason this could be called as that is acetone cyclic ketone also so this is what i want to discuss about so that's the friend that is what i want to discuss about so talking about the further process that is the real mechanism so the mechanism behind this reaction what it is let me talk about in that next lecture so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this concept very clearly and i hope i will see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe channel. thank you so much